Now, this story you have to see. A bizarre twist in the case of a former state police lieutenant accused of turning a drug task force into a criminal enterprise. The 7 Action News investigators have learned that Luke Davis has married a key prosecution witness. So is this case true love or is it legal maneuvering to keep a prosecution witness off the stand? 7 Action News investigator Scott Lewis broke details of this sordid case back in 2010. He joins us now with the latest shocker. Scott. We're talking about a woman who went to the state police four and a half years ago with some incriminating information against the once revered, now disgraced police lieutenant. Now she is Mrs. Luke Davis. So will prosecutors be able to use her as a witness or will she be off limits because of spousal privilege? This is the witness who's been declared off limits by the judge. Emily McCoy, stripper, former girlfriend, and now wife of ex-state police lieutenant Luke Davis. In a minute, I'll tell you how she fits into the case and why prosecutors say her marriage to Davis is a fraud. Right now, let me remind you what the case against the ex-police lieutenant is all about. It was back in December of 2010 when the 7 Action News investigators first laid out details of the alleged scheme involving Luke Davis. Hey, Luke. Scott Lewis from Channel 7, you got a sec? At the time, Davis ran a drug task force in Monroe known as Omni. He'd been suspended and under investigation for two years, but still drawing a full paycheck. Two months later, the hammer dropped. Luke Davis, Lieutenant Emanuel Riopel, and a civilian, Lawrence Dussault, were charged with turning the police drug forfeiture unit into a criminal enterprise. They allegedly stole property, seized in drug raids, kept some of it for themselves, and sold some for cash. Everything from cars and boats to designer purses and big screen TVs charges Davis denied. I'm not guilty of anything, bro. No. I mean, you didn't do anything wrong? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's going on exactly. They won't tell me. Uh, Oh, no, you can talk to my attorney. When police raided Davis's home and launched their investigation in 2008, he was married to Melanie Davis and, at the same time, having an affair with Emily McCoy. But Luke Davis and Emily McCoy had a falling out. She went to the state police and spilled her guts. Court records say she testified under oath to criminal acts that she is personally aware of defendant Davis committing. But by the time Davis was charged and hauled into court for a preliminary hearing, he and McCoy had gotten back together again. Then came the shocker. Right in the middle of the hearing, with McCoy on the prosecution witness list, the two of them flew to Las Vegas and got married. Prosecutors say the marriage is a fraud, and Davis's ex-wife agrees. I definitely do believe that, that Luke is with her for the sole purpose of, of controlling her and what she says. It was the same method of operation that it was with me, um, to the T. Melanie Jacobs claims Luke controlled her throughout their marriage with emotional abuse and by feeding her illegal drugs to the point that she once attempted suicide. According to a police report, she also told state police that after McCoy gave them information about Davis, Davis asked her to help him kill McCoy, and she refused. I had asked him why he would get back together um, with her, and he stated to me that if I can't kill the I will controller. As Luke Davis's trial was approaching in February, the prosecution filed this motion, trying to compel Emily McCoy to testify or to use her sworn testimony to the state police. Prosecutors claim that Davis has committed fraud and is using the marriage privilege for a fraudulent purpose, i.e. he is attempting to prevent a witness who provides damaging testimony from testifying. But the defense countered that the marriage between the defendant and Emily McCoy was entered into for legitimate reasons, and the two remain married today. Judge Michael LeBeau ruled in favor of the defense. He says Emily McCoy and her sworn testimony are off limits to the prosecution because of spousal privilege. This is a blow to the prosecution's case, but not a fatal one. It only means that prosecutors will not be able to use some of the evidence they've compiled against Davis, but there's plenty more. This complicated case has been dragging on since 2008, and court proceedings have been slowed by logistical issues, legal maneuvers, and other things. The trial is scheduled to begin on May 13th, and the judge says there will be no more delays. I'm Scott Lewis, 7 Action News.